This is Catholic Daily Mass Readings and Reflections for October 29, 2023, 30th Sunday in Ordinary Time. First reading, a reading from the book of Exodus, chapter 22, verses 20 to 26. This says the Lord, You shall not harass the newcomer, nor shall you afflict him. For you yourselves were once newcomers in the land of Egypt. You shall not harm a widow or an orphan. If you hurt them, they will cry out to me, and I will hear their cry. And my fury will be enraged, and I will strike you down with the sword. And your wives will become widows, and your sons will become orphans. If you lend money to the poor of my people who live among you, you shall not coerce them like a collector, nor oppress them with usury. If you take a garment from your neighbor as a pledge, you shall return it to him again before the setting of the sun. For it is all that he has to cover himself, to clothe his body, nor does he have anything else in which to sleep. If he cries out to me, I will hear him because I am compassionate. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response Real Sum. Your response. I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. Your response. I love you, Lord, my strength. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praised be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. Your response, I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord lives, and blessed be my rock. Extolled be God, my Savior. You who gave great victories to your king and showed kindness to your anointed. Your response, I love you, Lord, my strength. Second reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the first Thessalonians, chapter 1, verses 5c to 10. Brothers and sisters, you know what sort of people we were among you for your sake. And you became imitators of us and of the Lord, receiving the word in great affliction with joy from the Holy Spirit, so that you became a model for all the believers in Macedonia and in Achaia. For from you the word of the Lord has sounded forth, not only in Macedonia and in Achaia, but in every place your faith in God has gone forth, so that we have no need to say anything. For they themselves openly declare about us what sort of reception we had among you, and how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God and to await his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who delivers us from the coming wrath. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The acclamation, Alleluia, Alleluia. Whoever loves me will keep my word, says the Lord, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Alleluia, Alleluia. Gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 22, verses 34 to 40. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together. And one of them, a scholar of the law, tested him by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
today's reflection on the readings. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. In the gospel reading of today, Jesus summarizes the law in Hebrew scriptures or the Mosaic law of 613 precepts into two commands. To love God and to love one's neighbor as oneself. Jesus quotes these from Deuteronomy 6.5 and Leviticus 19 verse 18 respectively. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Matthew 22.39 Loving oneself is key to loving others. And when you can love others, you are concretely manifesting your love for God. Everything else about loving God, our piety, our daily masses, our scripture reading and rosaries will have genuine meaning. My dear friends, we are currently living in an environment full of political and social tension, but Jesus is calling us to practice tolerance and empathy as well as to give and treat everyone with the fundamental dignity of the human person. We face the challenge of loving people who look and act differently and it is important to recognize that all of us are different. My dear family of Mother Mary's protection, Jesus is calling us to leave aside our differences implicit biases and prejudices and start replacing them with love. Jesus also calls us to question ourselves. What are our priorities in everything we do as we tend to overtake unimportant situations over the need for love? The message of Jesus is all embracing and covers all our relationships from family, friends and partners. The covenantal relationship with God is also a call to a covenantal relationship with one another. Prayer, loving God, help me to serve you alone and to give you glory in everything that I think, do or say. Amen. My dear friends, please do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. God bless you.